welcome to Game Day Grind, where we take you behind the scenes to show you all the work it takes to make an NFL game materialize. So this is one of the quickest turnarounds in First Energy Stadium field history. Saturday night was a Machine Gun Kelly concert. Sunday is the Browns preseason home opener against the Eagles. That means a whole new grass field. As you can see, half the field is dirt, the other half is newly laid sod, it's being watered, it's being raked, and I'm told that by kickoff, this will be a brand new, perfect, stitched together grass, which doesn't happen at my house. I am here with Neil Pate, who's been the Browns' head groundskeeper for 24 years. Explain to me a little bit about the regrading and how you chose the grass that's in here. The week prior to Machine Gun Kelly, we came in and stripped out all the old grass, put a fresh grade on it, got it back to the original grade. They came in and put a floor down to protect everything for the concert, so they had their stage on it, their cranes, forklifts and everything. And we just did as much as we could prior to this, knowing we're on such a short time frame that we could come in as soon as they had the floor off and start laying side down and, and have as much time as we can to prepare it for this week. The process used to be that they would lay out these rolls and then take rakes, jam them into the side, and three or four guys would pull. Okay. And it would butt the seams up together, but a lot of times you might rip a piece of side, so then they'd have to cut that out and start over. And a gentleman came up with this sidekick oh. so now they're able to lay it down they lay it within a couple of inches and then he'll he'll come he'll and come through push. and push and not only does it help keep everything in a straight line but it kind of you can see the side kind of compress i over the length of a field i think we add almost seven to eight extra rows of sod. Right. There's a massive difference mm -hmm. between the grass that has been blown and this. All yeah, so this they're blowing here. that off to clean it and then what's left is why we're coming through with the hose and, and then washing it through. Well, it's been three days and the field looks incredible. What have you been doing? Well, thank you for one. We've just been working. We've been trying to get it firmed up. We've rolled it a couple different directions. We've got some seed out. We've been putting some fertilizer and fungicides out to kind of protect everything. All right, sweet. Let's talk about the fun stuff. Okay. How many gallons of paint does this take? Uh, so we are putting out about 100 gallons of paint uh, wow. today. It's a field paint that's designed for the field. It's water-based, mixed one-to-one. -one. So we'll take a half a bucket of the paint, add uh, half water, stir it, and this is what we get. So it, this is a stencil or this is a one and a zero? How does this all come together? Yeah, so we have each individual number is cut out because they're specific measurements. Um, the numbers need to be six feet high. They're 12 inches from the line. We have it all cut out perfectly. So we lay the string, which is 36 feet from the sideline, and we're able just to just lay those stencils down and, and paint them and move along. Is this like a very specific job? You have to trust who's actually getting to carry the paint gun? It's, it's a, kind of just a practice thing. It's something that he's been here working for a while for me. Which gentleman is it's it? It's in the orange shirt, Andrew Bossert. Uh, and he does an amazing job, and I trust him with everything that we do out here. Oh, so these guys are just moving. Yeah, yeah, these guys are moving the stencils for him and just kind of moving along in the process. But then do you go in a different direction? Yeah, like that, yeah, you can go like that, that's all right. Whoops. Ah! Keep, Give me the I'll, rag. I'll, I'll get a wet rag out here. Don't, don't I'm worry. kind of panicking right now, guys. I screwed up the 40. Hey Neil, this was super fun. Thank you oh, so you did much. A wonderful job. Well, thanks. I hope. I don't know that Andrew's going to say that, but I did the best that I could. All right, great. So we'll see you Sunday morning. All right, sounds good. Okay, we're standing here on game day, yes. Neil, and head coach Kevin Stefanski says he loves this weather for his rookie kicker. 
Do you love this weather for the debut of your brand new field? I could do without the rain today, <laughs> but you know, we've, we tarped it up uh, yesterday afternoon and it is on the dry side, so we should be able to handle some rain if we get it, and I think we'll be in good shape. All right, well the process so far, right? Before you put the tarp on yesterday, did you feel good about how everything looked? And... Yeah, I mean, we were really blessed to have great weather all week and um, you know, we're able to get everything that we needed to do um, other than more time uh, to have it ready. Okay, I know that we're going to have to move extremely quickly yes. once this tarp comes off. So will you just run us through everything that has to happen? The tarp gets rolled off, then? So we'll fold the tarps up as quickly as we can because since we're right up against game time, players are wanting to get out. So hopefully in about 20 minutes we'll have it completely rolled up. I am going to be very interested when players start getting out here and getting cleats on it okay. and just to see where we're at. I mean, I feel comfortable with it, um, but until you actually get guys out there making their cuts and doing their thing, it's, you know, you, ha you have that little bit of apprehension. All right, Neil, it looks like your guys are getting really antsy over here, so yep. I probably ah. should let you go. Yep, we are and ready to go. there they go. Look, look at the feet. field, look at the field, look at the field. What do you think? It looks great. Jim Donovan, Nathan Segura, getting ready to go with preseason game number two. This is a brand new field that's been laid down here at First Energy Stadium, and the Browns and Eagles play here today. Now, if you live in Lakewood, hang on, the ball may be coming to you. That's how big a lead Cade York has as we're ready to go. Preseason game number two.